And we're told that the apple season is a little behind last year. That could be a good thing because last year's early crop was actually hurt by a late frost. But this year being a little later creates its own problems. In Peru, New York, we have 19 varieties. Jim Murray um, is still the new guy in apple country after 16 years of owning Apple Jack's Orchard. We're a very small orchard. We have four and a half acres. But even this so-called newbie knows he can't control the apple season. How much of this just depends on Mother Nature? <laughs> You're totally dependent on Mother Nature. And this year, the weather, including the rain, is slowing things down. Murray doesn't want to ruin his wet fields by bringing out equipment and buds are appearing on the trees later than they have in recent years. This is a Macintosh and it's puffing up pretty good in another two or three days um, that should be in bloom. Once the flowers open, the pollen inside only lasts for a short amount of time. That's why it's important that this weather ends and the bees start flying so they can get these trees pollinated. Murray says the apple trees depend on insects, especially bees, which don't like the bad weather. Without the bees, the flowers won't be pollinated and an apple won't grow. That's why Murray says he needs sunny days, warmer temperatures, and everything to dry out. Those three things would be wonderful. And hopefully we will see the sun this weekend, and that will help the trees blossom and lead to a great harvest. And hopefully we'll all be picking apples come August. Reporting live in the newsroom, Matt Austin, Fox 44, Local News.